four, check this out. Boom, shot the tape. Like, check that out, that is like, look at that. Look how cool that is. Why this thing weighs 17,600 pounds? It's gonna come together, boom. Look at that. Look, it's like, a, it's like a carousel. Like, that is like the coolest thing. Hey guys, I'm Ryan Drapella, and this is my massive dual head, dual table CNC. It's about 20 foot wide, nine foot tall, and 10 foot deep, and weighs a little over 17,000 pounds. I call this one my Lamborghini of CNCs. Well, because it cost about as much as a Lamborghini, and so I treat it like so. In today's video, I'm gonna go over really cool features of this machine that make it cost so much, and what I think is cool, not what the salesman that sold me this machine think is cool. Um, I'm gonna actually have this bad boy running today, and really just show you things that I'm interested in because I haven't seen any videos like this on YouTube. I think they should be out there. Maybe the people that own these CNCs don't have a YouTube channel or don't have time to make videos. So uh, I figured I'd take the responsibility of doing that. So uh, yeah, I hope you uh, get, a lot of, get a lot of value out of what I'm creating today. And uh, don't forget, if you do like this video, give it a like, subscribe to the channel. Thanks for watching and stay tuned. So the first thing we're gonna go over, but I'm not gonna spend a crazy amount of time on, is the frame, right? Why this thing weighs 17,600 pounds is because of this giant massive frame. Okay, this beam right here, which this CNC has four of them, about 10 foot long, just running this way, is 18 inches by 12 inches by a half inch thick, and this plate right here is a half inch thick. So to me, the CNC is like way overbuilt, way overly what we call in the CNC world rigid, but it's still a really cool feature on this machine. It also has two of them running this distance, about 16 feet, and this gantry right behind me is also even built bigger. So the next we're gonna go over there and check out the top of the, the side of this gantry so you can see it from another ankle. But um, I just wanna make it a point that this machine is built. It is sturdy and to me, it's a really cool thing that um, you know, a lot of people overlook. So once again, let's go over there and check that out. So I just wanted to give you another angle um, and show you these um, other beams that are on this machine and how absolutely massive they are. It's really cool. Um, and then we'll look at this one right here. This is actually the Y gantry on this machine. It's not the X. I'll tell you about that in a later video. But this right here is 7 eighths of an inch thick, or actually 22 millimeters. And this plate right here is an inch and an eighth, or what is that, 30, roughly 30 millimeters thick. So absolutely massive. This right here is 20 foot long. All this is 20 foot long, and this is a solid metal beam. This is not an end cap, it is solid metal. So. Once again, overly built, really cool. Now let's go look at some uh, features that aren't about welding and beams and metal. Let's go do that. So the main reason I got this machine is because of the dual table, dual head function that this machine has. So I can run it and I can actually lock both tables together, which is really cool. I can take it and only move one table at a time. I can also only move one head at a time or lock both heads together. So that functionality is super cool. So I can take both heads, run them on this table, both heads and run them on lock tables. Each head goes in each individual table. There's like 10 different ways I can run this machine to get my desired product. It's really, 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 really cool. So in, later in today's video, you're gonna see how both heads can work on this table and cut out some cutting boards for us. Uh, pretty simple, but really, really cool. Um, one of my favorite things that I can do that is really hard to program, so you're not gonna see it today, is actually I can cut out squares in plastic on this side, and I can cut out circles in wood on this side at the exact same time because of this machine's capabilities. So that's a really cool feature and a lot of the, uh, let's call that like a two price tags, right? That's, um, that's pretty expensive and why this machine is to me the Lamborghini. So let's go look now at the automatic tool changer and I've never seen one like it. It's really cool. Um, yeah, it, it, it's, it's sick. So let's go look at that. So before I show you all the tool carousel, um, let me give a little bit of credit to the computer. It follows me around, it has a giant cord. It's a phonic control system. Um, if you don't know what Phonic is, just know it's a top-of-the-line control system. It's really cool. Um, so, yeah, that's that. Now, let's take a look at this, um, this tool carousel. Watch this. So, hit this button. It actually comes in and out whenever it needs to change a tool. Like, look how cool it is. Like, like, it goes in and out. Like, what other tool changer does that? So, it goes in and out. And then, on top of that, I can rotate tools. I can rotate them one by one, or I can rotate it all day long like this. Right? I, that's cool. I've never seen that before. Never been able to touch that before. Never been able to use it before. So it's, it's, it's these little things like that that it, it's just mind boggling. This tool touch off right here, hopefully we can get a close up of it. It has a little 
a little thing of air that actually blows on top of it to keep it clean. So whenever your tool touches off on top, right, this will come down and it'll touch off on top of this pad. It actually has air that blows on it, so uh, no dust gets on that little plate, so you have exact measurements. Like, who would think of something like that? So that's like these little things on this machine um, that are super cool to me. It may not be cool to somebody that's big in the CNC world or something like that, but these are little things like that that I absolutely love. Now let's go check out the computers in the back, this whole giant module in the back, because this computer system is fully air conditioned. So this thing is a built-in air conditioner that actually cools everything and all the computers on it. So let's go check out that now. So we're gonna walk back to my computer systems and before I go back there, just wanna warn you, the lighting might not be good, uh, but this is not a movie set. This is a production wood shop. So, you know, we don't have perfect lighting. Um, this is my shop saber. It is still in use. It's still awesome. This machine is just much awesomer and much more expensive. So we're talking about it today. Now, as you can see, there's three cabinets of computers. This is number one. Um, it has some lighting, some gadgets, some gizmos in it. It's a lot of uh, air controls, electricity controls. Um, next one right here, a lot of wires. Um, I could not put it together and or take it apart and put it back together. I'm not Bill Gates. I'm not a computer nerd, um, but this is really cool. Or an electrician, right? And if you come over here now, before I show you the last computer, I'm going to go over this. This is my um, vacuum pump. It is a 40 horsepower vacuum pump, weighs about 2,000 pounds. This sucks air through my five by two, five by 10 tables. This is a 350 pound transformer that actually works as a surge protector pretty much for all these parts. So this is a 350 pound surge protector for this machine, really cool. Now, over here, as you can see, we have an AC system, it's right on the other side. It keeps this thing a nice and cool 80 degrees to protect this phonic computer system right here. Um, in Texas, it gets about 110 during the day. So it's nice that to know that these computer parts are all dehumidified and air conditioned, and uh, I'd rather not have them um, get fried before their time has come, right? And um, one other thing, or two other things I wanna point out back here, right down here, this is an automatic grease um, lubrication system, right? So this thing will automatically grease this machine. I never have to worry about greasing it um, ever. I just gotta make sure that that thing works. Really, really cool feature. And then down here, this is all connected to my vacuum pump, and this actually controls the airflow to my vacuum pump. So I don't have to turn a knob, I just have to push a button, and this will turn on and off my vacuum pump. So really cool features on this machine. Um, I'm glad y'all got to come back here and see it. There's no videos on YouTube showing the ins and the guts of these machines and what actually makes them work. So I hope you found value in this. Now let's go run some cutting boards and watch this thing work. Let's go. So before I run this, um, I got the vacuum pump on, all that stuff, we're locked, loaded, ready to go. I'm gonna show you two more cool, cool things that I think um, you need to see. One, the dust hood works on a button. Like, I can, so the dust hood will go down whenever it, it's running in place, but I can always just move it up and down at any time I want. That's really cool. And then both of these things, I have pop-up pins. Um, you've seen them in other CNC's, so I'm not gonna show you that. Uh, but these things will actually pop up, right? And you can have accurate corners. Um, and right here, this is at my vacuum. I turn on off my vacuum by this button, or I can actually turn it off by the computer, but we're gonna use this button right here. And so, can't move it, push the button, right? I can move it. And so, it's really cool, we can go, and it stops, like, and it ain't moving. And then turn it off like that, you can get your stuff in place. Um, and so, all of it's really cool, um, I like that. Now let's run this dual head and cut out some walnut and red oak cutting boards. All right, so we're about to run this thing. Both heads are gonna pick up tools. They're gonna pick up the correct tool and then come together and go down. I'm actually gonna pick up the dust hood when it's running so you can kind of see it operate. I'll probably put it down from time to time. And all this right here, which I forgot to mention, is all a safety system. So if I were to hit that when this machine is running or somebody was to hit this when this machine is running, the machine would kill itself and stop and stop the program immediately. So that's a really cool feature. Now let's watch this bad boy run. Boom, change out, rotating, carousel, grabs the tool, it's gonna come together, boom. So right now we're doing some uh, blood trenches on it, some juice grooves, right, pushing the dust hood button. 
Beautiful. You know, usually we can speed up during cuts like this, but this thing is so fast, like, it, we're good. Already done with path one. Now it's going to do a change out. Boom, tool carousel. Coming in to cut out the boards, coming back together. Look at that. It's a beast, baby. Watch it come back around. Watch it come back around. Oh, it's beautiful. Beautiful. Clean up some of that dust real quick. Look how beautiful that is. Now we're going to get some action shots of that finisher. It's going to come back by and clean these up. So now what this bit is doing is just making sure that cutting board is super smooth. Uh, this is the finisher bit. One pass. Just coming in, taking it out. I'm really excited about this action shot that's going to come right here. Check this out. Oh, that is so pretty. And check this out. Check this out again. all this in real time so y'all can see it man it, this is this is interesting I never got to see this as a CNC guy now we're gonna back up because it's done it's about to shoot this table forward check this out boom shot the table forward had this lapel mic kind of just dangling now but watch this now it's done Anthony you got it all right so boom take the vacuum off and now all you gotta do I'm gonna cut these out this is the way we do it here but I'm going to cut these out, and boom, we have four finished cutting boards. Want to turn the vacuum back on? Boom. Like, how cool is that? Um, so, once again, thank you so much for watching all this. I hope this was amazingly cool for you. Um, I hope you got a lot of value from this. Don't, do not forget to give us a like, subscribe to the channel, because the more subscribes I get, the more likes we get, the more I get to use this and show you. Um, the ins and outs of CNC machining and woodworking and how to grow your business into a multi-million dollar woodworking business. So thanks for watching. Um, I hope you got a lot of value. Once again, Ryan Drapella, out.